Good evening. February 6th. Yes. 6th. Today is Monday. We are doing this on a rooftop bar because I don't know if it's going to be very successful if we do this back at the room later. I don't know if Grandpa's going to be sleeping or what. So here we are in Key Cocker. We left Cruz all this morning at. I think we left the house at 6 a.m. and walked to the boat. 618 at the dock. Huh? Everybody else. Oh, sweet. We caught the boat, which was the smaller boat, the choppy boat uh, from Corozal. We made a stop in Centineja. And then we went to San Pedro. I feel like it's worth mentioning that that was like un uh, unlike any boat ride I've ever been on. Uh, the humanity in that tiny little fiberglass hull is astounding. So oh, just I, I, you had to say something about that. elderly babies. Elderly baby. The whole nine yard. Elderly, comma, oh, okay, babies. Okay. And Jordan and I Jordan and I lucked out and got two of the best seats in the house. The very front. Right up front. The captain's like, you can go sit over here. We're like, okay, thanks. Started raining at one point. Started so raining. And put the hatch on. So they stopped and put the hatch on the boat. It, it was everything you'd expect from that choppy water. So we did that for the better part of two hours. And then finally made it to San Pedro. The good news is, sorry to interrupt. You, no, it's fine. Good news is we all kind of dozed off and slept a little bit because we were up at three o'clock because of some dogs. <laughs> so it's been a long day. There were several dogs barking from like two o'clock on, and then the tortilla factory was in full swing this morning. It, it, it was rough. It was a rough night. So. I think we're going to sleep pretty well tonight. So then we got to San Pedro. So then we got to San Pedro and walked across the island uh, to a little cafe, restaurant thing. And then we ate in the sand. That's nice. Then we pretty much got up for lunch and went to the Belize Express boat dock and caught a boat to Key Cocker. And that was a good little half hour yeah, jaunt. That was a much nicer boat ride. Um, nice breeze. We were up top of the captain. They gave us emergency instructions. They gave us emergency instructions on this one, so it was, felt a little bit, you know, safe. And then we showed up here and Checked into our apartment. I don't think I need to say much more on that. Just that it's different. The word Katrina comes to mind. The word Katrina comes to mind. It, it does remind me of the scene where Michael and D'Angelo walk up to Meredith's house a little bit. Never seen this place in the daylight. This reminds me of Katrina. But we found out it has a nice shower. It has a nice, well, An okay there's hot shower. water. You step into the shower, and if you're over 100 pounds, it makes you feel like Mama Tua. We've got it. We've got, hold on. We've got her. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Oh, my goodness. The Lord's will. Thank you. I guess it already <laughs> smells. I, Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, what do you think, Jordan? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Uh, much needed cocktails this evening. So we checked in here and then it was still early in the day. We went up to the split. Grandpa kind of hung out because his leg was swollen. So he did that and we kind of walked around and found some birds and 
kind of showed Jordan some of the other parts of the island. Kind of made a plan for tomorrow because I think we're gonna found the Rastas. We're gonna <laughs> we found the Rastas. We showed him the generator. And then we went and got a drink at uh, the bar right next to the Seaside Villas. I think it's for Island Magic is what yeah, the place is called. Right. So we got to sit in the swings and chill out. There was actually a little tornado off in the distance or a water, water spout. spout. Um, so that was cool. And then we walked back to the split, re-upped with Grandpa, kind of watched some kids play soccer for a little bit, watched other people embarrass themselves at the beach. And then we went back. We went swimming. We went swimming, that's right. Jordan and I went swimming on the back side of the island where it was a little bit quieter. Found a nice little public beach spot. Jordan caught a fish at one point. I did. And was very proud of that. Bare hand. That was, that was impressive. Andrew didn't think I could I didn't do it. think it at first. But then he found one that was mentally God retarded. God provided a way. <laughs> so yeah, then went back and watched a little soccer from the local kids. And then we went to dinner. Dinner? We walked to dinner, which was a place uh, that kind of connects between the shore road and the main road. Uh, like, it's a pass-through type deal, so you can eat in the back or in the front. Um, and we all had stewed chicken. Jordan had some ha uh, uh, pork. pork. Very good. Which was very good. Then we went back to the apartment. I'm not going in there. And then Jordan and I went out and got some massages out on the shore. That was fantastic. Good. And then we went back and all kind of cleaned up for the day, showered up. Now we're out for a walk and some drinks. Yeah. My goodness, that was a long-winded recap from a day that was... Every single one of these days, it's like, you're like, oh yeah, it was a pretty chill day. We just kind of went like with the flow. A lot, but there was a and lot then you recap it at the end and you're just like out of breath. There's so much to talk about. So... Anything to add? Nothing else. Good Nothing night's sleep would be nice. Good night's sleep. We're going to drink and drug ourselves silly tonight. So hopefully. Legal drugs. Legal drugs. I Melatonin, PM stuff. The record. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're not doing actual uh, illegal drugs or anything like that. Over the counter. Drug ourselves. Yeah. So. Good night. See you tomorrow for another day on the island. Try to catch up with my. Try to catch you with my hand